Good morning, world, and welcome to Tech News, the hard news, the tech news, here on Tech of Tomorrow. I'm Eric, your host, and on the floor here is our chief correspondent, Bud E. Dog. That's right. You guys can see him taking a chill Why I do the hard news for you folks. That's right. So what's up? Well, check it out, man. You guys all know that we had this contest about a week back where I had you guys all submit these cool desktop areas of your area. And some people thought it was for money, but it was never about about that whatsoever. And I just want to start off by saying thank you to all those folks. Last week, due to the heat, I've been kind of sick all week long, so I didn't get a lot done. I apologize. It's my bad, my lag. Hey, I'm sorry. I will get that stuff up and show this off. But before we jump to that, check this out. This guy here that we have found has the most badass ultimate looking desktop area in the world. Now, if it was all about money, this guy would definitely be the winner. But I told you guys it wasn't about that, and this has nothing to do at all with our contest. This guy's out of that. <clears throat> but his shit is rocking. I mean, check out these pics that we have of this guy's badass system. Look at this, man. All of everything is separated. Video cards by a ribbon cable outside of the motherboard. Hard drives separated. SSD separated. Everything in this room, triple monitors. Check that out. Three monitors set up, computer basically hanging from a wall. Looks like something out of Star Trek. Or was it Skynet? No, I'm just kidding. It was Star Trek looking. I thought it was really cool. So what do you guys think? You guys are always looking for like the most badass and ultimate shit. Well, this guy obviously spent a lot of time and a lot of effort. And we here at Tech of Tomorrow give that guy a solid thumbs up for all the energy that he took into the time to do this. Now, obviously this guy had the money to do this and he spent a lot of time to do it. And we give him thumbs up for doing that. Now, if for some crazy reason you've got a bunch of money to blow and you want to emulate this guy and build it, check out the link down there below the like button where we have in the description all of the parts using this guy's build. So if you want to be a copycat and copy this guy's rad ass shit, well then, hey, check it out. All the parts are down there so you can do so. You know what though? Be original, make your color blue. Don't copy them and be red. Make yours all blue, right? All right. So next up in the news, Apple rumors. Now you guys have all heard that they're trying to expand into the bigger market. 4.3 to six inch phablet type things these guys are working on, but they're rumored not to come out until next year. Now there's also some other story that's kind of interconnected with that. There's been rumors of the new iPhone 5S. Now will the iPhone 5S actually make a debut or will we see the iPhone 6 actually hit the market? That's kind of like what the little grunge there is in between that right now. What is Apple going to do? Do you know? Do you care? I know some of my fans do, some of my fans don't. Now, next up, as long as we're in that same realm, let's talk some information about Samsung. In the last week, Samsung has released not only the Galaxy Gear, but the Galaxy Note 3. Specs wise, the gear is rocking a 1.6 inch, 320 by 320 resolution screen with four gigabytes of storage and 800 megahertz processor, 1.9 megapixel camera. As of now, it is only compatible with the Galaxy Note 3, but software updates are coming for the Galaxy S4 and Note 2. So what's up with pricing and availability? Well, this thing's coming to market at $299 and it'll be coming out on September 25th. Now, do you guys think this is a bit pricey and a little bit much for this? Because I know that a lot of the things people are trying to get are more affordable. So what do you guys think? Is that too expensive or is it within your range? Now, as far as the Galaxy Note 3 goes, it's rocking a 5.7 inch screen with 1080p resolution. In the US and other compatible LT markets, the device will feature a 2.3 gigahertz quad core Snapdragon 800 CPU paired with three gigabytes of RAM. The 3G only version of the smartphone, however, features an octa-core Samsung Exynos processor clocked at 1.9 gigahertz. So there are some small differences there. We also get a 13 megapixel rear facing camera and a front facing 2.1 megapixel camera, both of which support full 1080p video recording. And amazingly enough, in the LTE version of this gadget, the Note 3 takes 4K video. So what do you guys think? We've seen 4K TVs, we've seen 4K gaming on Asus's monitor. Now we're gonna have 4K recording. So picture that, man. Just imagine the detail in that. You'll be able to see everything so close up, it'll be realer than real. 
So that's it, guys. Those are all of today's stories. Like usual, we bring you guys a Sunday video. We have the deal of the day, and this time it is Dirt 3 for under $7. Now, Dirt 3 is actually a really incredible game. I don't know if you guys have ever played it, but it has lots of levels. You can play all kinds of different types of missions where you either build your character or just go online and screw around, play multiplayer, but it offers a lot of different things. I actually love that game. I'm going to be buying this myself because I don't know what happened, but somewhere along the line when I was doing that stupid damn Microsoft online thing, I can't figure out my account. So my Dirt 3 game won't let me save any of my shit. So bonk, I'm going to just buy me a new copy and move forward. So anyways, like usual, all the information, links to all these stories and everything will be down below that like button, which I know you know what to do by now. And that's about it. If you're not subbed, make sure you do so. Next week, we got lots of interesting stuff coming for you. More stuff on that 9590s coming. And we also got this little Apex keyboard back behind me. You guys can check this out. This keyboard's got lots of cool stuff. We'll be unboxing this bad boy tomorrow, so be on the lookout for that on Monday morning. I'm Elric. I'm going with Buddy Dog to the park, and uh, I'll see you back here on the channel. See ya.